This one's on us. Here's a little something extra from Raid to you. All right, I, I wasn't planning on doing this today. I was gonna do this a different day, but, uh, and by do this, I meant uh, do another video because I'm working on a different game right now. But I saw this and I was like, you know what? I have to share this with you guys because <laughs> I was reading like the first few comments and it was pretty funny. These are pretty funny. This is in regards to the unexpected quote-unquote gift, the appreciation gift. Now, this is not new. Anytime Galarium does something we don't like, they give us a gift and then they take something away and then they give us something again so we love them and then we take they take something away from us again. So, this is the gift that we got. This is what I got. Primal Shard, Immortal, immortal Stone, and then Energy. There's nothing wrong with that. And then three hours of uh, gear removal. The lube after the fucking. We should expect more fucking later. You're right. It's just an intermissionary looping. <laughs> Bro, you almost got it right. The a-hole is so crisp. Oh my god. It's so crisp after the dryness of the rewards from Hydra that you have to apply some lube to keep going. Or else you risk to break your nerf hammer, if you know what I mean. We can't allow friction to slow down the progress of whaling. Oh my god. Joke's on you. I'm always lubed up. Real men take it dry? Oh, whoa, yo, pause. Pause there. I don't know about that. That's that's taking it a little far, but okay. Yes, lube is usually before polarium. It doesn't really glue the plate back together, does it? No, it doesn't. What in the diddy ass sus shit is this? All the way, polarium was like, you know what? We see P Diddy doing some stuff. We're gonna add some extra P in our polarium. <laughs> Sorry we fucked up. Oh my god, that's the thumbnail right there. Evil Belly Lynn. Dude, that's so fucking funny. Fucked you out of reasonably being able to get Freya. That's true also. Back shots over and over again. Why did you put sorry in? That would suggest they give a flying fuck about players. Sometimes they, they hire a guy, if not all the time, and the guy basically just says, hey, we're not giving any flying lessons to any fucks today. The only way to win is to quit playing. I'd quit yesterday if I had a raid copy to play with even worse gameplay. Just no more dry humping, it hurts already. A lot of us, well, you know, a lot of people, I don't know if I'm quite there yet, but a lot of people want something else to play, but there's just nothing that can compete. Raid has monopolized this space. It's, I'm hard pressed and I've looked, I've looked. I've tried Dragonair, I mean, you can't do Dragonair anymore. I've tried Watcher of Realms, Eternal Evolution. It's just not my not my speed. I, I don't know. It wasn't really my thing. But a lot of people want something new. That's why we're waiting for Godforge. Is Godforge, and this is a discussion that I want to have eventually, but I haven't really gotten around to it. But like, is Godforge going to live up to the hype? I asked this question a few videos ago. A lot of you guys said, no, it's not going to. But we're still hopeful. We're still hopeful. Just as much as I'm hopeful that Raid will, as as stupid as it is for me to be hopeful, I want the game to be better. I want Raid to be better because I'm still on the side of the fence that wants things to improve because I, I genuinely like the game. I love the game. There are no equal alternatives. I switched to ship collecting. Ship collecting? Infinite. Oh, so a different game. Uh, get over it, it's only a game. I feel, you know, to an extent, I feel this, right? It, file your complaint. On one hand, it's like, yeah, you know what? Build a bridge, get over it. It's just the game. I always say this too. I mean, not that specific thing, but it's just like, it is only a game. Roll with it, take it on the chin, and just kind of, you know, vibe with it as best as you can. But at the same time, it's also important that we share our opinions because if we don't, nothing changes. I know it's kind of like a weird thing for me to be on two sides of the coin here, but I mean, that's just kind of how the situation is, right? We want to complain about the things that we feel really fuck us as players because we want them to be improved or we want them to be fixed. But at the same time, we should only take it so far because it's just the game, right? We want to have fun. This is the level 30 gift version. Oh, you guys don't even get primals. They did you dirty. Yeah, they did you dirty. 300 free energy is nice. Yeah, I mean, that's a cu couple uh, Phantom Shogun runs. That's That'll be gone in less than five minutes, but yeah, less than three minutes probably. Guys, I'm grateful for the free stuff, but when it comes with bad taste, you know? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, this one's on us. 
Here's a little something extra from Raid to you. I'm just imagining that guy from the from the Raid update videos. Yeah, where'd where they find that guy? I, I need him to narrate my, my videos. Probably trying to stop bot accounts from benefiting. This is my referral account. Been logging in for Loki. Keep forgetting because I didn't get Chronum yet. I got this and it was peak. Six stars, such a labor early game. Level 30 is like one weekend. It doesn't take... The easy thing with accounts is getting to level 40. I feel like from 1 to 40, because I've done Chronum three times, getting from 1 to 40 is the easy part. Getting from 40 to 50 is the slog, and then anything above that just takes a while. It took me like two, three years to get to level 100. Granted, back then, 60 was the highest level. We need idea. We need ideas to lube these fuckers after Hydra. What about three refills? Maybe a primal? This guy goes, revert changes? <laughs> That's perfect. Now I know why I play this game. I play for the fucking Reddit drama. That's my shit. Fuck gameplay. Fuck nerfs. Fuck everything. The drama, man. The tears. That's where it's at. Sometimes this is where it's at. I can kind of see that this is the case for a lot of you guys. Most of my actual gameplay videos where I'm actually playing the game, it doesn't get a lot of views, but almost always you guys love to watch people complain on Reddit. That's why the Reddit reaction videos do so well for the most part, because it's the only shit you motherfuckers want to watch. <laughs> I, I'm, I love you guys. I, trust me, I do. I enjoy this. I, I enjoy enjoying this with you guys. I, I like being able to provide this with you for anybody who doesn't, you know, sit on Reddit. Yeah, this is this is what you guys want. You, you guys like the criticism. There's nothing wrong with that. People are just crying all the time. It's too funny. Free to play players crying over greedy Polarium when they don't spend a cent anyway. Imagine wanting a game to be both fun and good. Can't have that, right? Hey, he's right. It is both fun and good. Otherwise you wouldn't play it. Reddit free to play raid community is just toxic though. This right here. To be honest, raid is a fun game. It is a good game, but the deeper you go in, and the longer you play, the more you start to get hit with the realization of everything. But by then it's too late. You're addicted, you're obsessed, you're in the routine of waking up, opening up Raid, and then just, just doing it. It's, especially if you, if you become a content creator, there's no escaping the shit, man. But it's just like, dude, I love making, I love making content. I love, I love doing YouTube. Polarium tries to smooth over the mess they made with the latest update, nerf, fix, whatever. Rebalance, they want us to use the word rebalance. Nice try, Diddy. Rather revert back the shield changes and Hydra head buffs. Yep. You have to complain on Reddit at least twice a day so that they flag that we're unhappy. Exit game, relog. This one is from the community. You're a greedy company that does not respect your players. This gift is not going to magically make up for all the bad decisions in game lately. Here is a question for you guys. If you could revert one change in Hydra, what would that be? Me personally, I would get rid of that that HP pool for decimated heads. I don't like that. That's like the worst thing for me. Personally, situations are different for everybody, but that's me. If I could revert that, that's what I would that's that's what it would be. But I'd be interested to hear what you guys want to say. The I'm sorry I cheated on you buyback gift. Honey, are you still mad about the Wixwell nerf thing? Me. Yes. I don't feel respected by these behaviors of yours. Polarium. Oh come on, darling. Don't put that long face on. How about I give you this little gift to make you feel how much I appreciate you? Okay, Baka. Damn, that's a nice way to say thanks. We can fuck you, and some even pay. So a free rare. Yeah, a free rare. This is a slap in the fucking face, and you fanboys that said it's a great gift, put your noses right back Polarium's ass. Too bad Sham can't function on auto anymore. He can't? What happened to him? The changes to Hydra make it worse for auto teams generally. Champion AI now seems to make a point of targeting Hydra heads that have block damage buff. So any champion with a big single attack will often do no damage with it. Yeah. On a more serious note, if you ask me, smell blood and weakness. The fact that this reward is so big means people are leaving the game because of the changes and they're afraid that more people are going to follow up. That's the only explanation. There's no way. It's just some gaslighting move to take our minds off these changes. Yeah, it's less than 24 hours after the update and people are leaving. Come on, instead of spreading another conspiracy, you may just suggest that they literally appreciate all the attention this rebalance generated and decided to encourage players. It's a quite normal move. I got a rare champion from the primal. 
My guy has zero self-control. Zero self-control. <laughs> Around these parts, they're known as Red Ancients for the very reason you described. We get a free gift and people still cry about it. Wouldn't need a free gift if raid devs had foresight and an understanding on how their own game works. We constantly fuck up this game, here you go. We have a free re-gear removal this weekend and they offer us a three hour free gear removal. This is their compensation for fucking Hydra Clash and being too lazy to address people who exploited by doing Hydra runs before the patch and holding the score until after the patch went live. Here's 20 bucks for the thousands that have been wasted on the teams for the past 1.5, almost two years. The real fun part is that they chose Shamael as the background. Boy, turn around, let me hit it from the back. Yeah, I know how you love it when I do it like that.